Hello, this is Coffee Tech, and someone actually intrigued me this morning when I looked at the comments, so I enlisted a video. And I am actually going to go over something else about Google Cloud. We're going to go over storage buckets. Yes, storage buckets. Now, why would I not trust things like OneDrive? It is because the application on the computer let's say that computer gets infected with ransomware and you have about three different computers on that same account one computer gets infected the files get encrypted the files get updated on the drive and then of course your files are gone sayonara no on-site no off-site backups and no direct storage you lose everything there's the problem with that. Now we're going to go over this solution. This solution, I find it really good. So, of course, we have uh, two buckets here, one of them in which I am deleting. And we're going to type in, in those big red letters, delete. And we're just going to go ahead and recreate it. So, of course, we're going to go over this, and I do like how you explained this. That way I'm not spinning up Linux virtual machines, and I will admit that I did not know about this part of the cloud, as I am still learning. So, we're going to go ahead and take that name again. We're going to continue. We're going to choose just a region. The region is going to be U.S. West 1. So, of course, we will choose it to run out of the Dalles or Portland. We're going to go ahead and select a default class. And best for short-term storage and frequently accessed data, standard. That works. because things are frequently accessed and there is an on-site backup but the on-site backups are not reliable and those thumb drives are really old so of course we're going to enforce public access prevention on this bucket and we are going to use the IAM permissions here so of course protection tools none like I said there's Two different backups if one fails we can always fix it so enforce public access prevention on this bucket that's what we're gonna do and then of course that makes these files available to you but nobody else so the buckets now been created it's not public and of course the protection is none more or less, there's no failover if something goes wrong here in this bucket. We're just going to upload a file. We're going to choose this 6.3 meg file here. As I am on a mobile data connection responding, and I am on a laptop, that's probably going to make the video quality not so great. But that is fine. So, of course, there we go. It was simple, it was easy, and if we need to, we can download these. So, of course, we will just click here, click download, and it will download it to your downloads folder, where then you can move it wherever. So, thank you for giving me this idea. I will definitely use it. And... This is just one of those new things about the cloud I've learned from you viewers, and I thank you. Anyways, this is Coffee Tech, everyone, and if you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one, hopefully in better quality.